Good morning. I just woke up. Not literally though. I did a few things so so you guys wouldn't think that I just start recording myself first thing in the morning when I wake up. I'm weird but I'm not that weird. Um yeah, I'm gonna be taking you guys with me like a day in a life type of video. It's just, it's just gonna be like a random montage of uh random things that I do throughout the day in the weekend. Usually not all the time. So let's see how this goes. And uh, yeah, welcome to my messy table. <laughs> uh, so I thought maybe I could show you how I cleaned up this mess. And also I assure you that I didn't mess it up just so I could do this. My table is almost always like this i'm just usually lazy when i when i got tired i'll just sleep without cleaning the mess up so yeah yeah okay. that's the drawing that i started yesterday uh probably not gonna continue because it I, i'm not really liking i mean it's looking good but i'm just not feeling it anymore I'm finally done. Uh, it kind of took me a while. I thought it's gonna be something that I'm gonna finish it really quickly, but yeah, now I'll be heading out. For well, those of you that do ask, this is usually how I do my hair immediately after the shower. I I kind of comb it this way just to get a little bit of volume. Yeah. And once I'm done with that, I because I usually don't dry it using a towel because it ruins the definition. I I usually go with the do rag to try to um can I say yeah shape it and also to stain away the water. But I don't uh, put it very tightly. It's just very loosely like this. And then I leave it for a few minutes. A few moments later. And while I have this on, I got ready. Just to give it more time to get dry. And now we're gonna see how it looks. Yeah, usually it's like this. And I repeat the same thing. just to give it more volume
and yeah after that usually this is this is the look that i go for yeah sometimes more definition sometimes not and for those of you that do ask me don't say nobody asked this because some people do ask i use this one uh it's called vibrant i think it's inverted but yeah vibrant curls only one i need definition because it leaves my hair dry and uh it it's it, i go for this one if i want a uh, much more softer look but right now i didn't apply any of them for the conditioner that i use i use this pantene it's really good i think it's a live-in conditioner and yeah I got in and I'm supposed to take pictures uh, there's a certain way that she wants them taken if they turned out good I might put them on the screen yeah I'm going up there's this stairs that has no railings at all because it's still under construction so I have to be extra careful uh, I never thought that I have a fear of heights but now I'm having <laughs> certain thoughts I thought I'm gonna get a very good view, like a very good picture from the stairs. But yeah, it turns out it's not gonna look good in the picture, so I kind of took pictures here. I took pictures down. Um, hopefully she would like the one that I took. Another thing, I don't know what this is for. As an architect, <laughs> there's a thing that I know that's called uh, dilatation is to like separate uh, buildings into I don't know into different several parts in case there's a uh, uh, an accident like an earthquake so the building wouldn't have to suffer damage as a whole but I don't know how they're gonna connect to this because usually I see it in buildings that are not made out of steel um, I would like to see how it turned out taking the pictures hopefully she likes them YouTube. <laughs> Hello once again. Look at us back where we started. Um, so yeah, we've come to the end of the video. If you watched it all through and you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps with YouTube algorithm. And um, what else? I don't really know how to end this video properly. I'm kind of tired and exhausted, so do what you gotta do. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye.